Today we are laying the foundation for the next generation alert and warning system for the American public. The current EAS has its roots in the Cold War when the media went meant three major networks and AM radio. What we're announcing today is an alert system for the mobile, networked, and digital America of the 21st century. I can speak for all of us in the public television community. We are excited to be working with the White House and DHS in providing the service to the nation. Uh, FEMA has been great to work with, and we're excited about rolling out this service. Local public stations have raised over $1.1 billion for the mandated conversion to digital broadcasting. We raise this money from state legislatures, from community fundraising campaigns, and from the federal government. What we've built out is a digital transmission infrastructure that already reaches almost all Americans. And this is what has created the dual use opportunity that the Bush administration has embraced. Our infrastructure is becoming the backbone of a network of networks that can deliver instant warnings to people wherever they are or whatever they're doing. Initially, this will be a government to government and government to media system. Eventually, it will be a warning system for all hazards that can reach practically all devices. You can receive some form of alert on your cell phone or your Blackberry at your kid's soccer match or while you're listening to satellite or broadcast radio or surfing the net or watching any of the 500 channels on TV. You'll be able to receive some form of emergency message almost simultaneously. A key point that you have to understand about this technology, DTV, digital television, is really a very powerful wireless data distribution system. WETA and other stations use it to send high-definition television. They, they use it to send multiple standard-definition programming streams uh, it, in place of the one analog channel we have on our, our analog broadcasting. And on top of this, we can send data packets. We call it data casting. The system, because it's broadcast, is completely bottleneck-free. It's totally scalable. It avoids the congestion we saw here and in New York on 9-11 with phone calls and cell phone calls. It can reach a million receivers just as easily as it can one receiver. No matter what you're doing, watching Sesame Street with your kids, surfing the Internet, uh, moving around outside, we can get this signal to millions of devices without fear of bottlenecks or congestion. Here's the other key point about digital EAS, and it speaks to the interoperability that, that the, the White House has embraced. In the pilot project, these packets, these data files, these messages that originated from DHS were sent out over the air by WETA. They were received by other networks, cell phone companies, pager companies, other broadcasters, cable companies, and retransmitted simultaneously. Uh, once it's all packets, you can do that. You can, you can move this content around seamlessly. Testing that concept was one of the key goals of the DEAS project, and we established here in the National Capital Region proof of performance that that concept worked. We had numerous partners in the test in the commercial television and radio industries, cable, cellular, and paging industries, and we plainly established that interoperability was possible, which uh, in turn supported one of the key components of the President's executive order. APTS was also joined in the pilot by PBS, WETA, and 23 other public stations across the country. Some are participating in the event today. Okay, in a few moments, with our technical contractor, Spectra Rep, we're going to demonstrate for you the capabilities of our, of our system. And I'll just take you through this schematic so you can see how it holds together. In the far left corner, uh, the seal of the Department of Homeland Security is where the message will originate. This will come from there, one of their offices downtown. It goes on a dedicated, secure line from there to the PBS Satellite Operations Center in Springfield, Virginia, a few miles from here. PBS uplinks it on their satellite, and it's downlinked to public stations all across the country 
along with the regular PBS programming that they're distributing. Stations like ETA, uh, WETA, uh, take it off the satellite, and without anyone at the station touching it or flipping a switch or plugging in a, a cable, the message is sent out over the air through WETA's transmitter, which is just a few miles from here in Arlington, and uh, a number of devices uh, with DTV receive capabilities uh, can receive the, the message and uh, can retransmit it if they in turn are media platforms or carriers. Um, other television stations, cable service providers, uh, satellite radio, when we do the live test in a moment, uh, XM Radio will receive the feed at their headquarters here off uh, WETA and put it back up on their satellite, so there will be a, a slight delay there. And uh, government agencies, DHS, FEMA, NOAA, state and, and local authorities can receive the messages as well. Uh, you can construct the message so that anyone can receive it. You can also encrypt the message so it's only available under conditional access on a need-to-know basis. When the receiver receives the message, the first thing you'll see will be a, a banner scroll across the top of the screen. You'll hear the familiar tones of the EAS, of the existing EAS, and then Windows Media Player will open and you'll see and hear a live message from an official at FEMA headquarters. At the same time as these alerts are being sent, uh, we will data cast files. These files can be anything, graphics, evacuation maps, uh, treatment protocols for hospitals, the kind of critical information that the department would be able to provide in the event of a, for example, biological or radiological attack. And um, finally, text messages will be sent to the cell phones and Blackberries of those of you who gave us your numbers. For today's demonstration, we're using the Internet uh, to send the messages through a, uh, a system called Alert Manager, which is developed by Spectre Rep. In the pilot, wireless carriers received live messages off air from WIDA and successfully retransmitted them as text messages to designated cell phones without using the Internet. And we, uh, we did this as a live demonstration for the Senate Commerce Committee about this time last year. This demo is not just inside the Beltway. PBS satellite uh, feeds are going to uh, stations across the country, including NJN, where you'll see um, their, their demonstration will be basically the same thing you're getting here. So let me go ahead and ask FEMA to, uh, to begin the message. Uh, this will be an actual over-the-air test, which should, uh, should begin in just a few moments. It's your mother. Good morning. This is a test of the digital emergency alert system. Today is Wednesday, July 12, 2006. This test of the digital emergency alert system is being conducted by the Department of Homeland Security. This video message is being data cast live using the digital bandwidth of the public television station WETA in Washington, D.C. If this had been an actual emergency, this message would be accompanied by essential information on responding to a particular natural, natural or man-made hazard. Emergency managers across the country receiving this data will be able to manipulate the data and send it to first responders, news organizations, and the general public. This concludes this test of the digital emergency alert system. So you can see Data files are also simultaneously downloaded. Um, we can delete them and rebuild them. This can be any type of information. Again, it could be provided to the public or on a need-to-know basis. A lot happened. Um, we're going to open this up for general Q&A 